The illusion kills a Sussex couple. Harry and Meghan. Failure is karma. Hello and welcome to Kate Middleton, Queen News YouTube channel today. A royal expert has come out to say Harry and Meghan are completely underestimating life without the palace. The great explanation of this pair of con artists who believe they would rise to the top of the celebrity hierarchy by trying to monetize themselves behind the backs of the royal family by spouting a bunch of lies at every opportunity and doing their best to destroy the monarchy because they couldn't have what they wanted but instead, all they did was hurt themselves they'll never get. Out of a hole they made themselves dug at this stage. According to royal expert Ms. Janet, the couple have totally overestimated their value as private citizens as well as their ability to generate income that does not come from speaking, writing or interviewing together within the royal family. They were fully aware of what they would miss if they decided to leave and they chose to leave, which they chose to do. When you rid the couple of their ties to royalty, you end up with two people completely unable to generate the kind of wealth needed to maintain the lifestyle they currently have. Harry is a former military captain who could never have earned the qualifications to play the same kind of role in a civilian capacity. A guy that had to cheat to get a levels is not going to get a commercial pilot's license. As for Meghan, her acting career shows that she has never been highly sought after. She got that suits job and she stayed with it for a long time because there was nothing offered to take her career in a new direction. It's not like she was able to build her small success into mainstream stardom. What she couldn't get in nearly four decades, Harry gave it to him immediately. These two people have been given more than enough Tim Balls to grow their brand and find a place for themselves in Hollywood and on the world stage that doesn't depend on their titles, but so far they haven't done much to capitalize on what they have and their public personas continue to be torn apart by the media and it's not like they can even blame the UK tabloids or the media as a whole because the negative coverage of them too is global. And it's damn holy that leaving the royals was always going to be a risky thing if the two of them ran away to America and didn't do the Oprah interview or write that stupid book or do all those interviews. If instead they had focused all of their time and energy on building a meaningful future that has nothing to do with royalty, then I'm sure their place on the world stage today would be very different. Who knows though, maybe things would always be like this. People who lie must have good memories and none of them seem to have good memories, after telling so many lease that the public has discovered them now. In reality, they didn't underestimate too much. They just overestimated themselves and their skills and talent, now they are more infamous than famous. And as ridiculous as they are ridiculed, their mistake was not to leave the royal family and start their own business. Their mistake was to use their personal grievances to try and make money for themselves, but again I guess when the only thing you have to sell is your personal issues, it's a currency you'll use to pay for your lifestyle, and Harry and Meghan have become experts on it, but unfortunately for them, it's not like you can sell it. Woe is me story more than once. It's not like you can tell lies to the world and then expect not to be exposed as a liar. I truly believe that Meghan believed she could make her way in Hollywood by taking Harry with her. Maybe it could have worked, but then they went to Oprah and told a lot of lies. I don't know what they were, many of the lies they told were so easily debunked as lies and then told more lies in this Netflix documentary they tried to pretend was a doku series where Meghan seemed to poke fun at the late queen. With that courtesy, what a big mistake it was now that America is a proud republic. But at the same time, Americans had and still have great respect for the late queen and also for Americans who were not fans of the monarchy or the queen. Not enjoying bullying, especially when the victim is a 95-year-old woman who has worked her whole life for her kingdom and the commonwealth, then Harry's book was another big mistake. I can't believe the editor allowed this vision of Harry putting cream on his penis but feeling that his mother was there in the room with him because of the cream he was using. Why did the publisher think someone would want to read it and then brag about deleting 25 chess pieces while removing them from the board by killing 25 Taliban members, you know, the last time I checked, it was like that in their head. He was the enemy, and those chess pieces were somebody's sons or fathers or husbands or brothers or whatever. There may be a way to roll back the esteem of the American people, but I think he should work very hard for it.
and it occurred to me recently that maybe Meghan thought they were going to be like Wallace Simpson and the Duke of Windsor, who were actually some kind of celebrity after abdicating the throne. But of course what he didn't consider was that Edward was a real living king who had abdicated, and he wasn't the replacement who was fifth in the throne at the time who fell. Meghan convinced Harry that an independent life would be great, and I think it could have been. I think they could have had some really amazing opportunities, but unfortunately they decided to get it wrong. Oprah Winfrey interview where they really attacked the royal family and accused them of being racist, cruel and cold afterwards, people probably thought right. If that's how they're going to talk about their family then like me, and they're going to talk about me, and it looks like Harry has accepted everything. Meghan told him literally. He just indulged in all his little projects. I don't think he really considered what it was like to be in the outside world with no real abilities. I don't think he understood how difficult things were going to be, so I think they completely underestimated life without the palace. Now I think if they just tried to live like normal citizens with just a normal house with four or six bedrooms, maybe a swimming pool, probably a garden and maybe a security guard or two or maybe even less according to their income, tea would have been possible, but no, no, no. Meghan insisted on living like an A-list. Hollywood celebrity Meghan convinced Harry that the grass really was greener on the other side of the Atlantic. Now, when Harry was still in the royal family, he was protected. He pampered Meghan, convinced her that they could have done so much more without the restrictions imposed on the monarchy, not being able to comment on, for example, incredibly suffocating policies, was always very frank with her. Now they've asked to be part-time royalty. They wanted to do what they wanted to do and also choose their royal duties. Good. Her Majesty the Queen has said absolutely no to that, no, no, no one but the Queen can choose what she wants to do. Harry and Meghan grossly miscalculated their plans, they revolved around getting one foot in the palace gate and being safe and half of their upkeep was paid for by Charles. They got what they wanted and they lost a lot. What appealed to them the most was their connection to the late Queen and their potential influence, and it's pretty obvious that there isn't any. I mean, Meghan Markle doesn't even know how to dress, she's also very socially awkward. Meghan's lack of social graces is evidenced by that odd smile she always has on her face and the fact that she's always reaching for a camera. I know he's so happy that he insists it really makes him feel good, hope he continues because he has endured enough sadness in his life. Do you agree with me? Please? I can share this video with your friends and family who need it. If not, Tell me your opinion below in the comments section and don't be afraid to subscribe to our Kate Middleton, Queen News channel for more updates in the future. Again, thank you so much for watching goodbye and we'll be back to see you all tonight.